Did you know that you can create SharePoint pages in seconds? Using Copilot, you have now the ability to describe what kind of page do you need in SharePoint, grounding also documents that you have started working on, like Word documents, Excel, or PowerPoint presentation. And then you can have, as a final result, a new SharePoint page or just a new newsletter. All right, let me show you how you can achieve this and let me walk you through these new capabilities. Let's go. Here I have my SharePoint home site open. As you can see here, I have this document library open because before to jump in how to create pages in SharePoint using Copilot, I would like to highlight the fact that I have a couple of important documents here. I have a Word document, transition to AVs, and a PowerPoint presentation. So let me open the Word document so you can see what I'm talking about. My idea was to create a new SharePoint page starting from a Word document that I already prepared previous days ago. This is the content that I want to reuse in order to create my SharePoint page. Moreover, what I have here is a very nice PowerPoint presentation speaking about the transition to the electric vehicles. So this is my PowerPoint presentation and I want to reuse this document as well. So these two documents are dropped in documents. And now let's start by showing you the new creating page experience powered by Copilot. The first thing that you will notice is clicking on new, this new item available in the panel page with Copilot. This is currently in preview. It's already available on my tenant. And this is the new experience powered by Copilot. What you can do here, you can decide if you want to create a news post or just a page. Let's go with the news post. And then you can just describe what is your goal by creating your news post. Or you can also reuse existing templates that you can see here down below. Create a newsletter page, create an event, compose a status update, create a process, process page, create a topic page. Let's select this one. When you click on a template, instead of reusing something that is more descriptive, you are going to reuse a really, let's say a template, a sentence template. And here we have basically variables. So you can customize the topic. And let's do that. Let me add some content here to facilitate the creation of this news post. So here I had some content I wrote here, electric cars, transition, featuring section on description, sustainability, challenges, and conclusion. I can reuse some suggestion that you get when you click on the variable or the placeholder. So let's click on summary. Now, I don't want to really start from scratch because I already worked with my colleagues as I mentioned before, on a couple of documents. And here is the place where you can reuse existing documents. So I'm going to target the PowerPoint presentation and the Word document that we have seen before. So here you are going to see a preview of the structure of this post news. So let's now click on the button Create and you are creating a private draft. Okay, got it. So now Copilot will do some magic here. Here you have also the ability to reuse uh, design ideas that comes along uh, Copilot. And now Copilot is placing web parts in my page. As you can see, I already have the title of my page, Transition to Electric Cars, Driving Towards a Sustainable Future. Then I have the description, and this is uh, one place older that I wrote during the creation. 
So very important. So Copilot is following my instructions. And here I have just an image. So I have this other topic that I wrote during the page creation, sustainability. Now this is not yet over. We have another image highlighting more or less the sustainability as topic. Then we have challenges. Here I have also another suggestion, which is the people profiles. So here I can highlight colleagues that are, are working on this project. And then finally, we have a wrap up, the summary. So reusing existing documents that you have in your company, you can draft and create in a few seconds SharePoint pages. So this is extremely powerful. So you don't need any more to start from scratch, but you can really start from a solid base. So this is, as I said, it was the creation and design ideas that you get. And this is where you can really take advantage by reusing Copilot. So now I'm going to switch back to show you another use case. Now this post news is published. So theoretically, if I jump back in home, I can see now in the news web part, this new page created. So let's see another experience that you have. So let's go now with a normal page. As a template, you have this one, create a leadership team message page. So now let's describe something here that we want to have. So here I had the climate change, create a news post about climate change. I don't have additional documents here to upload. And here you have also, if you click on view prompts, you can have some suggestion coming directly by Copilot. You can also refresh the options that you receive. Then you can create a private draft or you can uncheck. So this will be immediately available to other. And here, very important, you can decide the tone of voice if this is professional, enthusiastic, engaging, creative or casual. Let's go with professional and then you can decide the length of this page. All right, let's go just reusing uh, this uh, powerful uh, capability. So now Copilot again, as you can see down below from this bar is going to generate the content of my page. So now it's dropping uh, some web part Inside this page, I have the title. I have also a very nice background image overlapped to the title, which make the, the page more fancy. And then I have the description down below, another web part with another important aspect to consider about climate change, the environment. Then this is not yet completed, Copilot is still working on it. And as you can see, it is also important to know that Copilot is also changing the structure of this page. So here we have one column, but this, in this other section, we have two columns. We have image and then text. Of course, here you have always the ability to rechange this if it doesn't fit your needs. And again, here I have another text web part. Again, another text web part. The content is not yet completed. It's ongoing and in progress. And now I would like to really focus on another incredible capability that target the web part, the text web part. So let's now wait that Copilot finish creating uh, this new powerful page. The length I set medium, so it's very nice to see that it looks more very long as a content. Here I have another different kind of approach. I have the image on the right and text on the left, always with a couple of columns. Now let's click on the button, keep it. And now at the very bottom, what I have here is this, uh, this other text web part. Now, when you select and highlight a sentence here, you have the ability at any time to reuse Copilot to 
readjust the content if it doesn't fit your needs. So let's say that this is a bit too much long, so I can select the entire description of this text web board and then you can adjust the content. You can make it concise if you want and now Copilot is going to change this, this content in the text web part. And then as again, again I, as I said before, you have always the ability to jump in design ideas to rechange completely the structure. So this seems a bit now shorter, it's, it's good, it's nice. And uh, so here if you click on the design ideas, you are going to get some suggestion always coming by Copilot. And this is also very nice. I want to change this for the web part that we have seen before. Uh, I really like it. So you can then, very important, you can also select the single web part and then change, change the, the background or the style of the web part. This is very, very important. So in a matter of seconds really it takes more time during the processing of the page but from your side for your side the manual activity that you have to perform we can say that it, it takes really seconds so let me set this other one and as you can see now i'm customizing every single web part just reusing design ideas which is pretty cool imagine the time that you are saving now instead of going on the single web part, selecting the style that you want to apply and formatting colors, text sides, and, and so on. So many things to consider. Now let's hit the button on post news. I'm going to post this other news and it's done. So I can create this newsletter targeting a, a group or specific mailboxes if I want, but this is another page that I created in a very fast way. The other one that I mentioned is the page and the template, about templates, this is uh, something uh, that is available out of the box in, uh, in SharePoint. Uh, but uh, as you may already know, reusing your SharePoint uh, knowledge, in pages there is a, a special folder when you jump on site pages, there is a special folder called templates and here theoretically you can create your templates it doesn't really seems now to be template let's say custom template friendly so for the moment even if you can reuse your template it seems that copilot it's narrowed down to the out of the box templates provided by microsoft but probably in the future there will be also this option to reuse your custom template. Do you like this new way of page creation in SharePoint using AI? Let me know in the comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe and don't forget to like. I hope to see you next time.